In a push to solve a nationwide worker shortage, a growing number of stores and restaurants are offering to pay workers more. For months, business owners have told News for Jax they're struggling to keep up with the flood of returning customers. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harting joins us live. And Ashley, in some cases, companies are offering 15 bucks an hour. They certainly are. Bruce and Jennifer, good morning to you both. But you know, for some companies, it's even higher. Amazon, for example, as we know, which has facilities right here in Jacksonville, said yesterday that it'll pay new hires $17 an hour. Now, this extra incentive to work actually comes as some states, including Georgia, are opting out of federal unemployment help. As a nationwide worker shortage presses on, companies like McDonald's and Amazon are boosting wages in hopes of getting more applicants in the door. McDonald's alone said for its company-owned stores, entry-level employees will make $11 an hour, and by 2024, the average will be 15. As companies struggle to meet the employee-to-customer demands, at least 15 states are poised to do away with pandemic-era unemployment benefits, a decision that could impact as many as 1 million people, and that includes Georgia. Georgia. Governor Brian Kemp spoke on the matter. For Georgia to continue to be the number one state in the business, we got to be more productive than we are not right now. We can't do that without workers, and that's what this whole move is about. And I talked to a daycare owner yesterday. They need workers. <laughs> so uh, I think opening this marketplace up will get them more help where they can take more children that helps with that problem. While Florida is not currently on the list to slash unemployment participation, the state is reinstating the job search requirement for unemployment benefits. Senator Marco Rubio says business owners are coming to him saying people won't head back to work if they can make more on unemployment. Enhanced unemployment benefits are creating an incentive for people not to return to work until they expire. It's not because people are lazy, right? accusing anyone of being lazy. It's because people are logical because it's logic. And some analysts are also saying that some people may be reluctant to return to the workforce out of fear that they may contract COVID-19. In other cases, they're saying that women in particular have left the workforce to take care of children who are still in online school at home. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.